Hi everybody and welcome to the 2022 golf season. It's great to have you here with us here at Golf News Net. I'm Ryan Belgey. Thanks for joining us today. We have a special treat for you and it has to do with this box. And if you've been watching this channel long enough or watching my content for long enough, then you know we're going to do a little bit of an unboxing here. And today is the launch day for the 22 version of the Adidas Golf Tour 360. It's their flagship shoe, it's their biggest shoe, it is their most technically advanced shoe. And for this year, they've done some really interesting, different, unique things for it, while at the same time taking what they've learned from other shoes in their lineup, including the ZG21 and the Code Chaos, that was a huge hit a couple years ago. And they've kind of taken the, some of those pieces and put them into this shoe, but they've also done some things that you've never seen before in a golf shoe that I think are really fascinating and interesting. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. First of all, it's a cool box. I'm going to pop this off. And then what it does is it slowly slides out. And you don't really need to look at the whole box, but it gives you all kind of the features and uh, kind of different benefits and talking points. And has pictures of Danielle Kang, who just won the LPGA, and Dustin Johnson, uh, obviously the athlete probably most associated with the Tour 360 in, in the recent memory of this shoe. And uh, so I'm going to take this shoe out and kind of walk you through some of it while leaving the, uh, the box here so it doesn't fall out on me. So, say hi to the 2022 Adidas Golf Tour 360. It's a really interesting shoe. It's a good looking shoe. It pays homage to the history of the Tour 360 as that kind of st stable tour level spike shoe that this is their, their biggest and best offering. And yet, they decided that they were going to take a risk, that they were going to do something different. They were going to build this from the ground up to look fundamentally different and be fundamentally different than Tour 360s of the past. And really, for me, the biggest takeaway, the thing that I think is the biggest advancement of this shoe is in the outsole. And you might be thinking, well, geez, those spikes are really big, Ryan. That's because they are. And they are all different sizes. And Adidas has done something, what I would consider revolutionary in the golf shoe business. They have taken away spike ports. They have taken away having to screw in and screw out spikes, having them basically be all the same size, at least by port size. And they have direct injected with molding into the outsole your spikes. So now you've got spikes of different sizes based upon where you are in the shoe. And they're not all radically different. I mean, you got a couple of big ones here on the balls of the feet. And then they're pretty similar sizes on the tail end. And then these two here are pretty about, about the same size. We've got additional traction elements that are molded into it. That's something that's not uncommon. But this piece, these spikes are. These don't screw in and screw out. And they have a little extra piece of uh, kind of traction in the center of it. And that, that's almost a little homage to the cheater spikes that Tiger Woods used to wear back when he uh, was at the, kind of the peak of his powers. But the really interesting thing about this is this allows this whole setup having direct injected molded spikes instead of third-party spikes or even your own spikes that go into ports, this allowed Adidas to do a variety of different things that were really important. One, it allows the golfer to be closer to the ground, which is important in shoes. And they do that because that means you don't have spike ports that go up into the midsole and have to be supported, either the midsole or the outsole build or both. And that way, you just have the golfer closer to the ground. Saves weight. That's a good thing. Always trying to save weight in these types of shoes. Uh, one of the knocks maybe on the Tour 360 over the years is that it can be heavy. Some people like that it's heavy. Some people don't. Now this gives you the traction that you need without as much weight. That's a good thing. It also allows them to do more with the midsole. Because the midsole is something you're not going to see in this, but it is a very important piece of this shoe. And so up here in the forefoot, there's a horseshoe-shaped piece that goes along with the, the midsole, which is obviously full-length boost. And the boost cushioning is great. It returns energy to you. It does a great job. But there are a couple things that you have to be able to do with boost. You have to be able to control it. So you have to be able to control the direction in which it moves. And you have to be able to still offer stability while offering the comfort that comes with boost. Well, you can do that with this molded piece that you can't see here that offers additional traction. Uh, another thing that's really important in this shoe is that this is a wider base. Now, it's not cartoonishly wider than 
Tor 360s of the past, but it is wider, and that addresses two really important things. One, it allows the Tor 360 to fit more feet, more feet types, and more feet sizes, particularly those of us with wide feet. Again, another knock on the Tor 360 over the years is this shoe didn't fit wide feet well. Well, now that it's wider, it will fit way more people, way better. And that's great. And you can still have all of the stability and traction that you need because you've got the torsion system and you've got these three pieces along both sides. Of course, the Adidas three stripes and they pull down add stability on top of the foot with the leather upper one year waterproof guarantee on that. So you've got a wider base overall to fit more feet, but that wider base also helps you with stability and traction. It allows you to go after the ball a little bit more. As we've seen with other shoemakers, stability is really important and being able to build in some additional width, lower your base, get you closer to the ground, all of these things working together allow you to generate more speed. And that's good. Shoes are a technical thing. They are not just something you wear. They are a legitimate piece of equipment that when properly researched and properly fit to you can help you play better golf. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Every manufacturer will tell you that they're absolutely right. So that's a big thing about this shoe. Again, you've got full length boost, you've got direct inject molded spikes, which is a big deal. We'll have to obviously learn about how well they wear over time and what that means for you buying another pair of shoes, because obviously you're not just going to take these out and get a new spike. So you're going to have to figure out how long you can wear these for before they start to lose stability, start to lose traction. And that means you're going to have to move into another pair of shoes. That's something we're going to learn here over the, this model cycle. This is a beautiful looking shoe. I'd say it still has a very Tour 360 look in spots, but in many other ways, it doesn't look like a Tour 360. It has the feet you wear last, which is a little bit unique, new-ish for golf, for Adidas golf. And it's really designed to look more natural to your foot and fit more naturally to your feet. Tour 360 didn't always have that reputation of being a truly natural fit for your feet. But it looks really good here. It looks like a classy shoe. It looks like an athletic shoe. And I think they blend that aesthetic really, really well in this shoe. Uh, the shoes, it's a $200 golf shoe. These, this is what high-end golf shoes cost. 200 and above, 200, 250. You're playing in that range if you want a tour level shoe. But you expect comfort, you expect performance, you expect it to look good. I think Adidas nailed it with this one. We're gonna give it a try at the PGA Merchandise Show this upcoming week. And we'll report back with a full review soon. But wanted to give you an unboxing of what we have here and go with the launch and get this in front of you guys so you can see uh, the latest and greatest offering from Adidas Golf. I'm Ryan Balangie saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.